Attention, attention, this will be a granty swear one. I apologise if you got little ones. I don't know what to say. Sorry, uh, might hear some language that you don't want to, but, um, yeah. <sighs> I'm... Yeah, that's how I am. And I ain't gonna keep pressing that button all sodding night. Nice. Right, let's start this then. So, what the hell was that? That was absolutely fucking awful today. It really was. He hasn't got a sodding clue. He he doesn't know his best team. He doesn't know his best 11. Um, I'm just so fucked off with how he can come out in a press conference and he did look good, but then go like... Oh, we had chances in the first half. Yeah, and we didn't bury none of them. We were crap. The only person who came out of this game today looking semi-decent was Masaba and probably a little bit Buckley. <laughs> that was it. The rest of them were crap. What do we work on in fucking training? Ring around the sodding Rosie, giving the ball away, doing the rondon, seeing if we can do better, but... Just give it straight to them. Everyone can see, playing it out from the back, we cannot fucking do. We can't do it at all. We're shit at it. We've been shit at playing out from the back ever since we started playing out from the fucking back. It's not rocket science. It don't work. Our distribution as well today. Kicking out of play. A foul sodding throwing once again. How in the world of professional football is it allowed to do a foul throwing like that again? Again. Valentin looked really good on against Middlesbrough. Today he looked dog shite. He looked absolutely crap. And the thing is, what I don't get is that Chancery got this whole thing that he will die on this sword of going, I have picked the right manager for the job. You fucking haven't. I am all for having someone given time. I'm the least person who's reacted to say a manager need to go. I gave Joff Lukai so much fucking time, I could have given him a what to keep time of how long it was. I am so sick and tired of other fans being made to just really get fucking annoyed. Because it's all that feel it. There's 61 people watching, 21 likes, get those likes up. Um... Let me read some of your fucking comments. So I apologize. It is going to be very, very sweary tonight because I am not in a good mood. Um, evening, Bob. There's a lot of you in. A lot of you came in early, which I appreciate. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to most of you because it's very busy on everything. Um, I can't continue to give him the benefit. I can't give him the benefit. That that went a long time ago. Uh, pip. Yeah, yeah, but you do a pip protest. All that's going to do is get the EFL on our back. The last thing we need is the sodding EFL on our back. That is the last thing we need. I, th th there's bits in this today that I just don't understand anymore. How can you, after a game of football that was that bad, have a laugh? Even if it's a nervous laugh. Why are you laughing in, with the press? Because... 
I'm not fucking laughing. The fans are not laughing. You're saying I was concentrating on the game. They were saying Chancery out. They were saying Sith go out. The problem is you can't do either or. If you get Chancery out, you need to make sure there's a fucking owner in first. Because if he goes and he puts it in time in, we could go bust. And if we go bust, we will have to start Sheffield Wednesday AFC. Because it will get to that point if we're not careful. I want a new owner, but until someone's willing to pay what he wants, which might be a ridiculous amount of money, who knows in his little head. I, I'm not trying to be nasty, but how can he not see that there's an issue here? I really don't understand how he can't see that there's an issue here. If you're going to die on this fucking sword again, I picked the right bloke. Well, you fucking didn't. He was shit. I can tell that he can't get anything right in this thing. He, he He's had a time to have a mini pre-season in the international break. What were we doing? Like, seriously, what were we doing? Leeds, I could see improvement. Since that league game, we're back to square one again. Now, I really don't get this whole situation at the minute. I've, I've just... My thing is, it's going to go two ways, I think. Well, three ways. One, he brings in his second choice, who was Danny Rowe, who jumped in the German assistant manager. Again, assistant manager, young, inexperienced, only worked in German football, Eric. Two, he brings Karloff back to get fans on side, might be able to do a little thing. There is a way of saving this season. We can save this season by getting someone else in. Middlesbrough did it. Luton did it. It is possible. Huddersfield did it late. But if we're going to save the season, it needs to happen now. The problem is nobody in their right mind could work for Chancery unless they're getting paid a lot. I don't know how you can work for a man who got this thing. You had us... Building something in the demo. Yes, sometimes the football wasn't great, but he built something. He built a culture. He had that culture. You took that culture and ripped it out from underneath us. Completely. For whatever reason. Now Huddersfield have got three years with Darren Moore. He got his three-year contract that he wanted. I'm not saying it's in. Forrest did the same as well, yeah. And it did I I'm Oh, I am so frustrated with having to kind of watch this football. Do not let this person bring Lyle Taylor in. Do not let him bring Lyle Taylor in because if a new manager coming in, they should be allowed to bring Johnson back into the fold. Let Johnson have it under another manager. But do not let him bring Lyle Taylor in. Uh, I can't be... Tom, I can't be DC out because there's no fucker that's going to come in and buy us. The problem is, DC out doesn't fucking work unless someone's going to buy us or set the phone call to that chance he's going to pick the phone up and let him talk to him. DC is here until he wants to go. That's the problem. I'm not doing the DC out shit because there's no fucking point. The man doesn't want to sell. If the man doesn't want to sell, we can't force it. That's the problem. I think his time is up and we do need someone else. But the problem is, I'm not going to turn around and knock on his door and go, Oi, sell up. It not, doesn't work like that, sadly. I understand your frustration, mate. I do. And that's not me having a pop at you, by the way, Tom. Uh, I'm just frustrated. Uh, um... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, please let, not give me a seizure tonight. Uh, I did well to make it to two in the morning and not be in the hospital again. <sighs> I just, what annoys me is I haven't seen, I was willing to give the benefit of the doubt and give him time, 12 new players in, all that kind of stuff. I was all willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. The night four people watching, 32 likes, get those likes up, please. If you want to um, super chat to the channel, please do so. It will go a long way because I've had enough of watching Wednesday for a week. Um, I really have. Uh, I'm all thinking about it. You're going to end up with Bowie, who's happy with it. Yep, John, I can see that. I can see uh, Bowie coming. Some of you just got, who just want... We're going to end up with some of you who just want to get into a job. That's the problem. Uh, who's just going to get into the job. That's the issue. Um, we can't make it easy. 
we can we can't make it easy for DC though. It it the thing is, if you want DC out, right? Oh, DC is about uh, pressure letting up. In. I no, I understand that, John, saying DC out. But the problem is, if you want DC out, the only way you'll see it is if the ground's empty. If the ground's empty and stuff, you t you businessmen feel it in the pockets. That's the issue with the DC out. I understand DC out. The problem is, getting DC out isn't as easy as people think it is. That's the problem. It's not that easy. He's in Thailand. He doesn't care. He won't see it. Unless he's here to see it and actually react to it, then you'll be able to get it done. But until he wants to do it, that's the issue. Uh, Lee Bullen, no, too soon. I don't want to, I do not want to wreck, wreck a uh, club legends. Joey Barton, no. Yeah, Sunderland's on Guy. Watch it, watch it on Guy. Don't go. Um, ah, that's true. He's already, he's already had his money, and he? That's season tickets, that's shirts, yeah. Um, yeah, Justin Curry, right though. DC does have a five balls. The problem is, I don't see where a win is coming from at all. Um, I care what the AFL do, mate, because the AFL are the ones that could easily make it 10 times worth for us. 10 times worth for us. Um, I'm not sure even if I if I hit DC in the pocket, he will lead. That's the thing. I don't think he will. John got it right. It, it, I don't think he's going to leave. I just don't. I think we're stuck with him, and that's the sad thing. And the problem is, when you get into a situation where you're stuck with the chairman, um, you ha that's all you can do. You, you're stuck with them and you have to just do what happens. Can they help? No, I don't think they can. Uh, John's in the chat and he's a good person about it. In my many years of support, when I've never felt so changed in my club, as I do right now, after the, at the highs of the promotion, uh, we're, re we're relegated in Cisco days. I agree the fans have to stop going once money starts to drop when he'll look to offload. It all depends. Uh, it all depends. I apologise if I'm missing some of your comments tonight as well. I'm just not having a chance to... It's going quite fast. 112 of you are in here. 38 likes. Get those likes up, please. The problem I got with this now is you look at Swansea. Swansea were poor. Swansea were not good. They were crap. But we were just crapper. That's the difference. And the problem is I... I, I don't want Bullen to get the job. Not in this situation, no. I don't think that's right. Um, let's have a look. I agree, fans. Sicko won no game whatsoever in 90 minutes, including pre-season friendlies. Yep. Uh, this is, will probably be someone... Yeah, I can see that. Tom being like got Brown, someone else to come in. Yep, uh, I can see that. Uh, if he stays, it'll be relegated by Christmas. I can see that as well. Don't want to protest. I don't want to protest. I spent too much on season ticket to get banned, but now I'm I'm not off. I get that. Uh, sure, why why your comment keep needing approved, mate? I see nothing bad. For, yeah, I don't know why they keep needing approved, mate. That's weird. Um, they shouldn't be like that. So apologies, that mate. Um, I might make you mad actually. If you're alright with that, John. Uh, you can forget getting the owner out. Manager's not good enough. Don't understand what the style. Yeah, I haven't got a clue what the style style of football is. Uh, DC need to realise he's not wanted at Hillburn anymore. Need to, need to, need to find a buyer. The, it finding a buyer, but it's also finding a buyer where Chancery doesn't feel any um, hatred. Where he just goes, "Look, I'm gonna let you have it." Like that's my issue. I'm scared of who he sells us to. Um, I don't know why comments need approval. Uh, John, are you? John, are you all right with be, me, me making you a mod if you want? Then you don't have to have your situation where your comments are getting things. I don't know why they're getting flagged up, mate. Um, he hasn't been sacked yet. No, uh, we won Chesterfield. That is a nice one because we win that. I like Smith, but I can't see him taking it. I can't see him taking it. This is the worst I've ever seen a play. 100%. It's the worst I have ever seen a play. Uh if the owner is convicted of a criminal offence or your club breaks the EFL rules or serious nature, they can be forced to remove the golden ticket, which will force a sale. Ah, right, fair enough. Thank you. I knew you'd know, John. 
Um, all you do, check. All you, all you need to do, mate, is just check on comments and stuff. Uh, DJ, I fill you in on what to do. Um, it's, it's not much. Uh, I think he'll tell you. Uh, DJ, I'll tell you what to do. You're mod now, John. Um, let's have a look. Who was was for late? <coughs> Who was it that for late? Oh, we were linked with when we were looking for a manager. Are you on about? Um, oh, fucking hell! You used to manage Donny. Oh, what's the late oh, manager called? I can't remember his name. I cannot remember his name for life of me. Uh, I think we loved Dean Smith, but DC rated him. He would have pointed him in summer. True, Luke Williams at not count the a dream, but you would have to you would have to give him time, Luke Williams. But it's a good shout. Get Holloway and still fire in the belly. Yep. Will he get sacked or do you do you know any inside? I don't know any inside knowledge, mate. Um, not on this one anyway. Uh, all all I know is that he's on borrowed time, but I don't know how much borrowed time. English owners, English manners, seriously, we need... There isn't many English owners, though, that have got deep pockets anymore, mate. That's the issue. There's not many that have got it. DC will want 800 trillion. Uh... Yeah, what DJ said. <laughs> um, two points in eight games on this form. We'll uh, be lucky to get 10 points on the NC. Yep. If we pick protest, Chancery can go bankrupt. If Chancery go bankrupt, we go bankrupt. SWSC short 10. If Chancery go bankrupt, we go bust. That doesn't work. Seriously, that doesn't work. If he has to force a sale like that, if we go bankrupt, we go bankrupt. And the problem is we need to have it where uh, someone can come in and save it without it being like a Mike Ashley. Uh, that's the issue, mate. Uh, so John would... would so John would have pitch process do the job. Munich need to go now. Uh, not one decent English manager will want to come to us. Nope. John, you need to get rid of the, the bleep. <laughs> um, I'm all right with some bleep. Richie Wellens, that's it. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, but with the amount of EFL rules he's broken, surely he, he can see. Why did we get sick in the first place? He's hardly in a big part for... He will... I think what's happened is he's seen his Watford time and gone... Look at that win record. He's amazing. Let's get him in. He got championship experience. Um, all right, you was explaining why not to post that. Thank you, mate. Sorry, I misread it. Um, that's the issue there. Um, that's, why, that's why I think he did it. I literally think that's why I did it. There's 124 of you here, 47 likes. If you could get that like button up. And also, if you want a super chat, they're on. If you want to become a member, it's 4 a month. I am working on getting you the new EA Football Club. Uh, Sheffield went to career mode, episode one sorted. I just need to sort my catch card out because it's not playing ball with my PC and it's doing me fucking heading. Um, let's have a look. Uh, get. Oh, I don't want Nathan Jones. He's fo his football's horrible. He would he would do a job, but I don't want Nathan Jones. Carlos is my choice too. Yeah, I think Carlos would be the first one. I think Carlos is the one that he would try and do to get fans on side. I really do. I think Carlos would come in to try and get fans on side. And I think that's how he'd do it. Um, I would, you know what, I would, controversial, controversial opinion, opinion, I would take Warnock. Um, I think the problem is that as an owner, they would need the right person to have a lot of money who can keep the club in good hands. True. Uh, no, Carl would be a disaster, pal. Uh, I think it was more to do with Chancey being a yes man. Possibly, I can see that as well. Uh, I can't stand Nathan Joe, but he's the, he the type of manager we do need. So we can make us defensively strong and then get us on the break. Um, he is the kind of manager. He was rumoured to be uh, in the top three as well when it happened. Uh, let's have a look. 126 in. Feels like the, the game all over. It does, doesn't it, mate? It's been a long time uh, since uh, uh, we take one uh, wood. We, we could use a Saudi Ray. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Saudi Arabian or Sajin Radcliffe who wanted to buy Man United. He wanted to get like that three billion for them. Just give Ch Chancery 150, 160 million he wants and come in. English owner, people be happy then. Um, let's have a look. Uh, depends on the bloke. 
it has another dream. Justin, I said the same uh, to my dad earlier, watching kid play. Oh, it was just poor. They were just, the problem is, it was like watching a under, a, like a Sunday league where they've just been on the pace, just passing it to the opposition and not caring. Like, the amount of time we lost the ball. The, playing it out from the back. When we started doing that, you could see Swansea went, are you still going to do this? Right, we're going to put four men on you each time. Four men across the uh, across the front line, put pressure on them. They nearly caught Turner. It's just an idea um, with Sir Jim. It's just an idea. It's a name. Uh, I wouldn't want Mike Ashley. Um, I'm not sure if I want Mike Ashley at all, mate. That's not one I don't think will be the one for me. Um, let's have a look. Uh, where was I up to? Uh, one coming to ruin us. <laughs> Can't ruin us much worse than what we already are, Kyle. Uh, Warnock would only want two to three months job for see. Yeah, he only he only does uh thingy. Yeah, Everton even won today. Everton won. They finally got a win. We're the only team in the EFL and I think the Football League without a fucking win. Oh, I don't see where we're getting a win. Um, at all. I really don't. Putting rivals, the Warnock is so stupid. Uh, putting rivals, it was it's still so stupid. Professional job. Don't be silly. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't work. He wouldn't work for Chief Chancery anyway. Uh, Warnock, Jones, William, top three. Dean Smith as well, possibly. Uh, love your passion, mate. Summed it up. For... Cheers, Alan. Um, I much appreciate that. It just, I'm just so frustrated. The problem is, right. My issue with sacking Sisko as well is this as well. If you sack Sisko Chancery, you need to have. Uh, someone lined up, ready to go. Not this, we're going to do a free week. It's the X Factor kind of uh, audition where you can go and see if you get free X's and you can go. No, it's free X's and you're out, not free X's and you're in. Kind of shit. Um, it, that's the thing. If he's going to do this, he needs to like have another man ready to come in. None of this, oh, I'm going to take a couple of weeks to see who puts the application in. Because right now, I can't see anyone would want to do that. Uh, kind of thing. Uh, let me have a look here. Uh, who are we to say no to a billionaire? True. You can't have two outspoken years like one or Chad say the ego would clash. True. Playing out the back is that to annoy me. I agree. Let me just call up my long lost cousin Prince. Uh, I think the issue with DC is more likely to stick with Sisko as his man. That's the thing. Uh, that's my worry, John. My worry is what John just said, is that he's going to stick with him on pride basis and go, this is my man, and it's going to be way too late for us to get out of the issue. I said 5-0 before kickoff, and I didn't realise how close it actually was. Uh, true, even while trying to make us lose, we'll probably make us look better, yeah. If we sack Sisko, I feel like we'll get a random manager, and they will probably be no... Be, Will be better than Sisko. Uh, right on it. On it. The thing I got is that Danny Roha Roll or however you say bloody name. Another name I'm not going to be able to pronounce, and I'll have to put on the soundboard. Sod it. You're gonna have to have a situation where you have the German assistant manager, ex German assistant manager, come in, and then him trying to get it back with that. Because what you got to remember. What you have got to remember. We got to get a back room staff as well. Because there's, no, there's, no there's no bloody coaches. There's none. Um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, one, it was let us then close to... Yeah, uh, let all the swear. Substration out. A fucking useless could boil piss. Yep. Uh, I think you're right. I think you, I think John's right. I think Chancery's going to be so fucking piggy arrogant and go, he, my choice. I know better. Well, guess what? You fucking don't. Uh, actually, not my choice, but Pen Leaf will come under and true. Luton Town hadn't won a match yet and they got their first point of the season drawing to Wolves. True. Uh, Warnock would ruin his career by having a shit record with old Carl had a dream. Even Lampard would be an upgrade for Christ's sake. Yeah, and I wouldn't want Lampard either. Why would we want any champ why would any Sheffield Wednesday fan want us to go bankrupt? I know, mate. To build a football team. He could possibly drag his feet with the appointment because of uh, the amount of coaches that would be left. True. Uh, I can't believe Sicko made it to this week. Uh, they got the judges' houses. True. I think I need to get some extra. <laughs> yeah, Munich got about one million 
uh, Ted Lasso in. He had had no players, so he had to sign them on loan. True. Uh, on a good point, I've done the close. Yay! Uh, where's the applause? Yay! She put the clothes away. Hey! Brilliant. Uh, Mike Bassett, 442. I'll take Mike Bassett. Uh, do, uh, does anyone else get a feeling of the players perform that they want to go gone? A little bit. A little bit. There's 145 of you watching and 52 likes. Get those likes up, people. Please do. Uh... I was debating about whether doing one of these tonight, but I'm so fucked off and frustrated. I need to get this off my chest before I go and watch more football or go play uh, FIFA or EA Football Club. Because if I end up having to do anything, I'm tempted just to sell all the fucking players who we brought in on my EA Football Club and bring my own bloody ones in because Christ. Um, uh, let's have a look. I'm going to start a company and make millions. And yeah. Um... Uh, that would sum up why DC doesn't care about the club. Probably, I think he cares about the club, but he just won't, he's not willing to let help come in and help him. He just doesn't want anyone to help him. Uh, chances are we'll get some random bloke from Portuguese second division. I think DC will sack this. It will take some bottle away from DC. Uh, Danny Rojas is a striker. Ted Loss is that killed the dog, yeah. Uh, the guy, Chancey, the dictator. Uh, pal. Danny Rowe would... He would have been a really good appointment in the summer. Tom, I agree with you, Tom. He would have been an excellent appointment. Uh, someone to build around. A young manager. Do like an Ipswich, a Plymouth. A young manager to build around. You know who I'd go for? Barry... B Barry Brian Murphy, the Man City Academy bloke, the bloke who's an Wednesday player. Didn't do well, but at Man City Academy... Academy... Um, oh, what's he called? I think it's Brian Murphy. The Man City. Uh, Brian, Brian, Brian Barry Murphy, the Man City Academy manager. I bring him in, him in. I definitely do like what they've done. Gone for like the academy blokes. Bring him in. Uh, I wouldn't mind it. Sorry, we are down. No money to get this. I, I hate to say it. I think if it's okay. I think it's okay. It's okay. But don't focus on... Forget our focus are the words of the Sheffield Wednesday manager. Have to get, oh, fuck off. Uh, not you, Declan. Just what you're saying. I'd like to think we might lose top six. <laughs> top six, yeah. Next international break is the one where clubs tend to make changes. But that's like six games. Yeah, we haven't got six games to do it. Uh, anyone got the badge? Get your TVs in. Get Bannon to player manager. Nope. Is the spider check done? Uh, I did a couple earlier, uh, and so far, nothing. So, hopefully, I'm not killing any spider tonight. We've rather had Bannon picking the team and running the team. Organise a meeting with me and Graham Potter. I love Graham Potter. Never going to happen. Too much money. Uh, that's who I wanted in the summer. Does Sicko even have a, his badges? Maybe one for being wank. <laughs> Bannon and Palm to deal with the transition period. That's not a bad shout. Um... I had enough. He got to go. Now I agree. Even if he had Saudi print coming for DC, wouldn't sell. He actually, DC wouldn't sell. Sell. He actually loved. He does love the club. That's the problem. Everyone seems that his depth at the minute. Yeah. Wouldn't decide if the manager still with us at Christmas and then DC sacked him and blames us. For, yeah. Uh, get Bruce back. Hell no. Masaba is good on uh, EA FC 24. He was good today. He showed glimpses of what he can do today. If we play him right, he was absolutely absolutely superb uh we signed i don't know why he's not playing i don't know i haven't got a clue why he's not playing uh mark hopefully the next one will be reaction not trying to get get from me yep sometimes the most sometimes the most loving thing to let go barry murphy yep it's a huge job now if he sacks him yes the back yes all the new backroom staff need of which would be a big cop for dc but would would not want the payout and new manager needed to find backroom staff true not sure Munich is play, playing at. Yep, I agree. I think he needs to swallow his pride and sack him. I think he massively needs to swallow his pride. Um, on and off the pitch and go back. He's already in Thailand, Rachel. He's back in Thailand. That's the issue with the protest. He's already in Thailand. He's already there. Uh, Barry Murphy, I would go for. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't work under DC. No one decent guy. Uh, true. Punky's now Spider-Man. 
Uh, apparently as bad as the house. It's a bad of 2004. It's a bad of when we had Chris Turner. Uh, it's that bad. Um, sadly, I wouldn't trust DC to pick a decent mic. I don't trust him at all. Hi, Jake. Bismuth. It's very bismuth. Random question. Can I have a tin of ice? Yeah, go have it. That's fine. I haven't had it for that reason. So you have it. Uh, Sicko got his badges off. Wish. <laughs> uh, lost the dressing room. Definitely seemed to be appropriate. Saying Leighton Palmer and Clinton Morrison assistant. <laughs> um, a chance he loved the club. Then he would sell. True. Potatoes. Uh, no, I think it's cookies and cream. Let's get Vince McMahon as new owner. Oh, great. Yeah, that'd be good. Vince McMahon currently coming on going, you're fired. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, John, DC Pro Dart at the small pile of CBs. Is Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer? I think Ollie J Gunnar Solskjaer's just got the Norway women's team job. Uh, <laughs> Kim, five billion. Yeah, that'll do. You're forgetting I'm predicting an A as a business, mate. Uh, Potter's... If I get Potter in on Penny trip, can you please sign Lyle Taylor as I fear he'll rock up at the Blues? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want him back. Um, let's have a look. Chance he bought to pass on to his son. I hope his son's are better than what his dad is then because his son is actually doing a lot of good things in Thailand. His son's setting up like a um, helping football academy kind of thing. He's actually doing stuff there in Thailand, doing well, so maybe. Uh, let's have a look. Chancey bought a uh, uh, pistachio is an ice cream flavour, not the coach of Lazio. <laughs> uh, the worst of it all, I don't even care anymore. And we lose, and when we lose, it's better. That's my issue. I have got to the point where I don't really care. I'm doing this because I love making the channel and I love making videos regrettably on Wednesday, but I don't like talking about it at the minute. But you listen and you like hearing what I say. And it's giving you a chance to frustrate as well. Um, 143 people watching, 63 likes. Get those likes up, people, for me going live on a sat on a Saturday night after a shite uh, result versus Swansea. And fair play. I want to say well done to Swansea, but there's not much to say well done to. You beat a fucking paper bag very comfortably. And that's what we were today. We were a paper bag. Um... Can you please, uh, I've seen that one, the worst of it all, yep, I'm going to float the idea, definitely man, Paul, I'd take that, bit left field, Paul Cook, not in the championship, in League One, yeah, championship, no, imagine how DC's interview went, neither speak good English, yeah, hecking bottom, then the blunt take, Wilder back, exile at Leap, <laughs> odds on, odd, to use odd owners, true, so there's be no different manager no sense. Nah, <laughs> they good. Uh, how old is that? At is, I think when At came to, when Chancery bought Wednesday, I think At was 12. I think At is now 17. Um, only someone desperate is cash and capable to take the job. Uh, 100 like, please for make this happen. Jake. Yeah, I love that, please. Uh, I love listening to you, especially when, when I can mute you. <laughs> uh, a family for fan base where thing can happen. Blue was like that for like five years. What worth time as a fan? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Man United versus Burnley prediction. I'm gonna go. Is that on Sky? By the way, that Man United Burnley game was it like? Oh, Sky. Is it on? Is it one of those stupid games that are like on like American TV? So it's not on Sky. Or something daft like that. I was going to watch that. Uh, is it on TNT 4? Ooh. Really? Oh, yeah. So it is. Cool. Brilliant. Cheer for that. Uh, John, I might put that on later. Uh, Man United, uh, 10pm. Finger crossed. We'll go and get... The problem is, if you get Neil Thompson in, who's going to then coach the under-21s? And they're doing fucking well. Um, I'll go... I'll go 2-2. Two, two, two. 2-2 two, two and a controversial VAR penalty for Man United. Uh, right, can we start a class action lawsuit for trauma base? Yeah. Um, how can he be 17? I don't do maths. Ozone Eagle, you've seen I don't do bloody maths. All I know is he was young when he came in. I think he's about 17 now. Um, from what I've see, seen anyway. I don't do maths, you know this. <laughs> uh... Chance has owned the club for nine years in February. Nine years. Cool. 
Uh, John says, uh, nine years in February. Jesus Christ. Nine years. Uh, just a sick brother. Yeah, they, they were adopted at birth. Tom, Tom with Burnley or Ireland versus Italy rugby. Not bad. Uh, Thompson is a good manager though. He did, he did well for a few games and then it went down. The problem is... It's the coaching side because we will be having to use such a skeleton, skeleton, ugh, pfft, a skeleton squad for the all, the whole teams, and that's the issue. And we really need to find a way of doing it. Um, if DC don't sell, I might have to consider stepping in. You better have 150 million then. John, can't you put it on two two screens? Put the rugby on and then put the Burnley game on. Like on an iPad. Um, uh, let's have a look. Um, a decent, abs a decade of absolute fucking shite. Cheers, Jonathan. Yep. Uh, what's everyone's produ prediction for our... Um, we'll be lucky if we get... If we get a new manager in and, and we have a new manager bounce, and bear in mind, we, we never, never have, have a new manager, manager bounce, bounce ever. Um, we could get double figures, but apart from that, I don't see it at the minute. I really don't see it at all. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, hey Dean, how you doing, mate? Uh, I'm not too bad. Just fucked off with this sodding club. Um, hey Daniel, in him. Even my mate will do a better job than sick going. Not even got a job at Sunday. Yep. Uh, at will come in a manager. What the face? Uh, now then. Now then, now then. What? Nigel Clough is at Manfield. Uh, what What if the fans own the stadium like Bayern Munich? Can't see it happening. Cannot see the idea of a uh, fan-led thing going forward. Just don't see it, mate. I just don't. Uh, it would be good to do, but I don't see it. I can't see him get set. I can't see him getting the set, but I think he needs it. We're the new derby. Uh, yep, I love DC's Wikipedia. It's just like, yeah, there have been a lot of changes on DC's and Cisco's. Uh, I love, I love it if we did like a welcome to X and to see the absolute. I, yeah, but you, you know what the problem with that Bob is? If we did a welcome to X, it just turned into a parody of the fucking office. That's all it would be. It'll be welcome to Wendy, but it'd be a parody of The Office. That'll be what it is, sadly. Um, half the Wendy fans don't have two brain cells. Be seeing it would be a nightmare. I agree. Uh, uh, we thought we had a rough one with Josh Christ. This is worth. Yep. Um, first in the sack race. Uh, I think first in the sack race has already been done. Has it? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Warnock technically left, didn't he? Yeah, he technically left. Have we had a sacking yet? I don't know. Uh, we are absolute laughing stock. We are literally. Um, I don't have a plot. I thought I had. Wait. No, that's not my roadcaster. Uh, it's something. You know, just popped to say to say I've had it off. Yeah. No. Don't. Don't worry, Jez. I think we all have. This is... I'm going to have to start calling these therapy sessions instead of debriefs, aren't I? Um, Northampton manager's gone, yeah. Yes, he has. Because uh, Singy was in at the start. Oh, what was his name? Uh, I can't go up any further than that, bugger. Uh, yes, he had gone. Yes, he had gone. Uh, how much would it cost for each fan to buy Hilfer? Not enough. Not enough. Mate, it, even, even if we... Charter manager, thank you. That's who went. Dean Holworth went, didn't he? Thank you. Dean went. And then Scott Brown went. So he's had sackings already. Yeah. Scott Brown gone. Um, how's Sicko? Probably, yeah. Uh, BBC News, Sicko, Melissa, for Boss, call for fan to stick. He called for us to stick, stick with it, but I called to stick it up his arse. I can't be art. I just can't be art. I really can't. As much of I understand he's trying to get it to work. Show it, Ills, then. Just show us it. Like, grow a set of balls, swallow your pride, and go, hey, 
let it turn around and go, hey, Johnson, Blair put our stuff behind us. Stop playing this stupid out from the back. We're shite at it. Below, b yeah, Bell, Bielsa won't work for Chance Theory, though. He's too smart. Give me thick over there, Mucking Dwight buys. I agree. I think the problem is with us is we haven't kept the players from the promotion. The problem is, mate, the players that we had for the promotion were either injury prone, wanted to leave, or were too old. That was the issue with the promotion side lot. That was the issue. Um, but you've got to also remember, Plymouth and Ipswich both built championship squads in League One. We built a League One squad in League One. That's the issue. Um, there have been, there've been no improvement. Like I said, are they playing ring around the rosy in bloody uh, training? Because, or just doing the rondon and passing it to whoever? Because we don't look bad. I, I've never known a club have such a high in May and they'd plummet to such a despair in September. In about three months, all the work Darren Moore did got ripped up, shoved on the bonfire, lit with a picture of Chan Seer going, well, it's fine, counting his money. All the work we did last season, the good culture Darren Moore brought in, you might have hated his football, but he did bring in a culture. There was a culture of wanting to win things. But, of course, we had to fucking rip it up. Oh, I'm just... Ugh! Sorry. I'm sorry. Time to go, DC. The problem is, you need... David, it's all right saying DC needs to go. Until he wants to go, he won't go. That's the issue. Um, I have no idea, but... but Put players' numbers on the front of the shirt. It will look like we're attacking on TV. Yep. Can't even see a win coming on this manager with people stop saying chance are out when he won't sell. If they don't want... If, if he don't want to as well as Manchester, he won't... Yeah, exactly. Tony's hit the nail on the head. He's hit the nail on the head, sadly. Um, replace the pink comment. No guts, no desire. Yep. Promotion by cheating at Wembley relegation. Lack of quality. Matt Cole, if you're, if you're going to be a dick, be a dick. Piss off. Um, Looks like we're taking a step backwards. At the end of the day, we went up. You didn't. Deal with it. Um, Looks like we're taking a step backwards. What happened from Tuesday night and the football we played then? No idea. We're generally uh, mauled by Sunderland. We're going to get battered by Sunderland. Absolutely battered. At least a decent... Decent near the camera. Uh, don't even feel like a beer tonight. So pissed off with club. I get that. He's, um, he's on about the booking. He's, our zone is, he's on about uh, the player who got sent off. That cheating. He's dreadful. Still play players out of position. Game and he's clueless. Well, it wasn't, well, it wasn't quote from the thick of it. So he, here's the third. Swearing he's not making this up. As bad as an owner... Is can be improved by can still survive on the pitch, but you need we need to make a decision now, John. That's the issue. We need to make a decision right now. Uh oh, the Sunderland game, we could get battered. Absolutely battered. We'll be mid-table or bottom half with Sicko in League One. Sicko won't even make League One. Uh just no chance theory. If he does sell, he's gonna sell to another dickhead, isn't he? Possibly, possibly not. I don't know. Hey, we hit 100 likes. Woohoo! Keep going, 134 people watching. Let's get it higher. Uh, much appreciate it. Um, uh, I want to see Ben Hennigan hand a new contract, but he's now joined Fleetwood. He has. He did well today as well. Uh, he had a cracking game, apparently. Uh, he won't go, but I bet he won't die. He does want daft money. If if you actually look at the club, El Dano, it's 70 million to clear whatever debts there are, 60 million for the stadium. That's 130. You might have to put another 20 on top of that. Um, Moore was one of the was the most loved managers. Yep, fair victory will be against Huddersfield hundred percent. Just to play with our emotions some more. Oh God, yeah, probably will be. Actually, you you're probably right on that one. Uh, or we'll get battered. Uh, we're in a big mess. Yep. Uh, do you think the quality of the team is better or worse than last season? I think it's worse, but also. You have 12 players who didn't get to have a preseason. None of them had a preseason. Like, even apparently Wilk didn't get a preseason. So, none had a preseason. 
So when you don't have a preset, it's very, very difficult. Um, and the problem is, you've got you've got to have the situation where you're going to let a new manager come in. You let him get in players in and get it all sorted. But that ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen because he did it all last minute. It was like he was doing the last minute Christmas shopping and go, Oh, I'll get a Fletcher. I'll get a Delgado. Oh, I'll get this. It was like he was doing the last minute sodding Christmas shopping with how he did our transfer window. It's like, it's like the dad's at 24th. It's like, it's nine o'clock. I'm going out to the shop to get the presents, love. Why are you going to get the presents now? You've had a month or two. Christ. Just, oh, the recruitment have been so backhanded. Uh, 420 views. Nice. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so I hear you, brother. I'm fuming. I'm going to take my mind off it. Go watch, go watch the Island South Africa main game, mate. Uh, We'll be 4 4 2 with Smith and Gregory up top, so not about the. I, I would take 4 4 2, 2 up top, get crosses in. Don't let Munez sign Taylor. Let a new manager come in and let Johnson just get on that 20 man, 25 man quad, uh, just in case. Uh, Cost eat fan 2000 to bury. It, got, it would have to be what happens there, wouldn't it? Uh, Reek Berry and Okambo will get in the 13. Yep, 100 likes, flash your tits. Uh, no, I'm not flashing my tits because uh, I don't have any. Uh, I make Canberra, uh What we needed to get Big Dave in, uh, Cambo will go for first season. One positive, wind ass injury, not that bad. Yeah, that is a positive. Fletcher's, Fletcher's, I don't. Fletcher's massive waste of a bloody uh, sign, a loan signing. It just is. Uh, I don't understand that one. Um, you, you what, if we will go, if we beat Sunderland, I will be shocked. If we beat Sunderland, I hope it gives us that lift to start actually winning. Because the thing is, I think the thing is, all right, I'm off to what footy, guys. Uh, forget footy and enjoy the weekend. I, I've got, I've got the EFL show to do on Sunday, uh, mate. <laughs> I've got the EFL show to do on Sunday, so I can't forget about it, sadly. But I am going to watch football myself soon. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, you, I can't see where win will come. Net 10 games are so, so fucked off. Then I see Darren joining Huddersfield. Oh, it just, Darren joining Huddersfield. I, I just need to put this out there. Here. Good luck to him. He's got a three year contract. They've got a good sporting director. They've got like owners that look like they know what they're doing. Good luck to him. That's what I'm going to say because he deserves it. He deserves to have it. Um, kind of thing because he does. Because having to <laughs> shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to pull my other trick of going to hospital for a seizure again. Let's try not. Let's try not do that one. Um, going out Christmas Eve at land shopping and ending up in the local guy with a box of Rovers, a can of cheap oil, and some petrol. Yep. Uh, Burnley. Oh, that's a nearly a good chance. Hit post. Uh, the deep breeze is both highly entertaining and compelling. Jake. Cheers, Anthony. <laughs> uh, Fletcher generally about as much use as an a Apple supporter after 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it will be right. Oh, I'll be. I will be very surprised if there's hardly anyone at that game. I think the Sunderland game will be the lowest attended game this season. Like, if you have a look, what we've got coming up in games, we got where am I? Sunderland on Friday, West Brom midweek, and then we've got Huddersfield, and then we've got a week off. He needs to make a decision very, very shortly because right now it's not working. It ain't working. It hasn't worked this season. This appointment hasn't worked at all. And there's only one person to blame. And that's Chante. If we're going to actually talk about the game, there were spells that were decent, right? There were spells that were very much decent. Uh, last year, fans hated Marvin Johnson, now calling for him. He's not good enough for the league. He'll get a crossing though, mate. At the minute, we can't get a crossing. Delgado had so many crosses today that were just pants. They were just to the keeper. And that was it. I drop Delgado, play Palmer. Um, seriously, drop Delgado, play Palmer. I just can't see the any daylight in this nightmare. Nope. The thing is, with Marvin Johnson, I actually didn't want him to... 
I'll be honest with you. I said he was the one of the ones where I was like, I owned him all about saying maybe he should go to another club or go somewhere else. I wasn't sure about it. Um, Athlete Fletcher was useless too. Uh, oh, he was, he was crap. Fletcher was crap. He really was. Uh, Smith didn't really do anything. The, like I said, the only one who looked decent for me today was Masaba and probably Bernard. But the way we defended at times, the way when the ball was in the box and we were just kicking our legs left, right and centre and we looked like a flapping bird in the wind. Just trying to fly. You know, you see those birds that fly into a wind. It's like, you're not going to get anywhere because you're flying into the wind. You're going backwards. Like, that's the whole thing. We have gone backwards. Johnson is Bannon's outlet. Bannon has no one to pass to. True. Like, you know what was really good? Bernard was doing balls over the top and they were working. But then you've got 35-year-old uh, Lee Gregory doing the running. That's the job for a Masaba. That's the job for a Gasserman. That's the job for someone who's got some legs, who can do that running. We don't have that player up top. Unless you're going to turn Masaba or Gatterman into a striker and let them go. Oh, kind of thing. Ashley Fletcher couldn't hit a cow's arse with a banjo in two meters. Yep, uh, let's have a look. Uh, great group, Fergie. I'm off to get some grant and ha this has been the best debrief we've all on the same page for once. Cheer, Bob. Have a good one, mate. Um... Are you going to go to the next game? Please keep it friendly. Yeah, keep it friendly. Keep it positive because there's going to be kids there. Let's not ruin it for the younger fans. If you go, keep it respectful. Don't do anything that can get you in trouble. Anything like that. Uh, Gasserman didn't play for the I don't know why Gasserman's not playing. I, I would just give him a chance. Just give him a bloody chance. Um, Ashley Fletcher couldn't... Oh, I've read that. Only one positive with Fletcher is he's... He gets in a good finishing position. He just doesn't know how to finish. True. What's the point in signing the youngster from Peter? You can't make the bench. True. I'm at, I actually think that Darren deserved the Huddersfield job and gutted ever since. I do. I I absolutely agree with that. I, I think Darren does deserve. I thought Darren Moore deserved the chance to be in the ch championship with Wednesday because he did a good job. There is something about teams who make 90-odd uh, points in League One. Now, Ipswich and Play Plymouth are breaking the rules on that, but they don't normally do well. Wigan, Luton uh, didn't do well. But I, I just don't... I don't understand. Uh, uh, I, pff, oh God, I hope he's not injured. That's all we need. Oh, another injury. Uh, let's have a look. Um, I actually think, um, yes, Jake, well said. Gasserman didn't even play. Yep, is that Jake? Why isn't Gasserman playing? Gasserman needs to have a chance. He needs to at least show us something. Because when he did play against Preston, he didn't look very good and he didn't have much time to actually play. The thing is, if we're going to change manager, it needs to be changed in the next couple of days. Uh, Jack Hunt hurt and Rose. <laughs> Oh, Rogue got a hat trick today. Lovely. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> great. So all the players thing. Uh, it could be worth. We could be bottom of the league. Oh, wait. Shit. We are. Yeah, we are. 100%. Uh, yeah, we're bottom of the league. Even middle for bloody one today against Southampton. Like, they they just like hit the bloody... They jump. Like, people were bigging up Southampton. Look how good Russell Martin do. He was crap at Swansea, and he crap at them. I'm not saying I wouldn't take him, but he was crap. Um, I know he's not a fan. No idea, because Wilkes, any time there's an injury, Wilkes, anyone else, no one knows what our injury situation is, because for some reason, Sicko won't talk about him. He will not talk about them in a press conference. He just turned around and said, I'm personally not going to talk about it. Why the fuck not? You're the manager. You're allowed to turn around and say what the issue with the bloody uh, press conference is. Even got, yeah, they got a point against Preston. Preston, who has had a very good start to the season. We are just woeful. We are just woeful. We can't go, we can't defend, we can't do a midfield. We're basically as good as like that little paddle, like where you've got one of those paddles where you're going round and round in a dinghy. 
because you haven't got someone else to paddle with you. That other minute, just going around in bloody circles. I do not know when our next win coming from at all. Um, we play Rotherham. It been it may, if it hasn't it been moved to Rotherham game. It's soon enough. Well, I think. Uh, cause the game got moved. Millwall. When is we? I'm in November, aren't I? Uh, we play Rotherham on the 29th of October. Cause it got it got uh it got moved. I don't I don't think we should release Wilkes. Let's just leave, give him a till January to see what happened. But he needs to show us something. The fact that he's not even playing, I have no idea. Um, cause it got it, yeah, it got moved to a Sunday night. Get it got moved to Sunday because but I think Rob, uh, Sheffield United are at home. Uh, even rather, rather better than us. Yep, when uh, we might have well released Wilkes. Uh, time to park another uproar double to keep my blood pressure down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone has said this yet, but unless I'm mistaken, we have four times as many foul throw. Yeah, we do. How are we doing foul throw-ins? Also, how is a professional squad doing foul throw-ins? 1-0 Man United. Johnny Evans. Bloody hell. Uh, Johnny Evans calling rolling back the years. Uh, great goal as well. Uh, let's have a look. Um, mate, it's the worst I've seen Wednesday. Yep. I'd never had the dressing He never had the dressing room, especially the League One squad players they have just brought into Darren. Darren. So we could have had Cloth and Shun. Sick of prey up shite. Yep, I agree. He is. Uh, it's not if. It's not if. It, it's not if. Is if we stay up with Sicker when we first. The first team to get relegated on single things. Yep. Wilkes, this is the thing with Wilkes. We don't know if Wilkes is injured. He played first of the under-21s and did all right. No one's actually saying anything about Wilkes' injury at all. Like, it's amazing how much we don't know about our injuries. I like to know a little bit more about when they might be coming back. That's what I give. Uh, that's easy to say, like, they are good. Uh, that's easy. It's if, if it stays like this, they're never going to win. True. Get Carl off back until the season. He's available. Yep. Josh Lukai is now a thing. A nostalgia thing. Yep. Uh, our bar looking at the goal. Ah, oh, bugger. Um, man, uh, three points won't take us out of the relegation zone after eight games. Uh, yeah, need it to happen now. Give ourselves a bloody chance. A new manager could save us. Jake, go to your happy place. Brief. <laughs> You know what, the stupid thing, I'm in my happy place. My studio in my happy place. But I'm just so frustrated uh, with this thing. I'm so happy I saw my thing. Ever, uh, is he offside? Oh, fair enough. Uh, my wife is getting me a padded room ready for me. Ha <laughs> I think we're all going to need one. We could quite easily sell sell them out, you know. Uh, you could do a sale on padded room for Wednesday fans. Um, it'll be fine. Why am I looking over there? My camera's there. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Someone else. But the thing is, what I'm going to say is, because I'm going to stop this soon, because I have been ranting for an hour, uh, and I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my bloody evening that doesn't revolve around this bloody football club. But the problem is, is that we need a reaction. And the, the thing is, we never had a new manager bounce, ever. And the problem is, if we have a new manager bounce, here's the he's already got a job, mate, Robert. He's already got a job. Uh, whoever comes in, I think will have to be someone who's out of work. So you are talking, are you thinking talking out of work managers? It's a Carlos, it's a Warnock, it's a Potter, it's um, Dean Smith. You're looking at people who are out of work. Because I cannot see Chan Siri paying compensation to go get a manager as well as sacking uh, Sicko. Because what, by the sound of what Sicko said after this game, he ain't going to leave on his own accord. He's going to wait to get sacked. Um, <coughs> I already had a sore voice before this, mate. I'm all right. Um, Lee Bull in Boxing Day Forest was a manager about... Yeah, but not really. A manager bounced. It was for a little bit, but he didn't keep going. 
That's the thing. We've never had it where it keeps going, is it? For me, a new manager about takes a while and it's tough. We did have it, but it wasn't much, if that makes sense. If you're new here as well, please subscribe to the channel. I'm on 3,150. Please help me <laughs> to, like enjoy this a little bit more because it's been hard to do this season and it's getting harder. Uh, Carlos is shite. Uh, the thing is, I the problem is though, mate, I can see Chancery getting Carlos in and going, here you go, fans. You, here's the manager you like. So he's trying to please, please fans. I can actually see him doing that just to say, hey, I brought your car off back. He got unprecedented business. Please, more. I'd like some more. What? Please, sir. I'd like... I don't get that reference. I know it's thingy, but what do you want more of? Uh, Punky Horrors, my darling. What do you want more of? I don't know. But the, uh, the problem is, whoever comes in is, I, I don't know. I think Carlos might take away cut just to come here. I actually think he would because Carlos had learned a couple of lessons since he left us, like knowing to use the Youth Academy. Uh, probably ice cream. I don't have any more ice cream. More gold, more wins, more so, more happiness with the happiness with the twatting club. Uh, yeah, I agree. I like more happiness with the club, but I don't, I don't see that happening anytime soon because the club is shite. At the end of the day, all we can do as fans is support the club. I'm going to say this now because it's something I said a while back, but I'm going to start saying it now. Support the team, not the regime. Support the team, not the regime. The problem, the problem I've got is I like having a shirt. It's my one thing about being a Wednesday fan. I like having a football shirt. I like having a collection of football shirts. And me buying a shirt isn't going to do jack shit. To his bottom line. But uh, Windass, and pa Windass and Patterson looked very good. Patterson especially. I thought Windass lo looked up for it as well. Yeah. They made a difference. They did make a difference when they came on. I think he tried to brute strength his system onto this, um, onto this team. And you look at how they played for two years on the mall. It's very difficult to brute strength this system onto the club. Um, when you play for so long. It's very, very difficult. Uh, 35 million still failed to get up promoted. Yeah. But also, it also shows you that just shoving money at it doesn't work. Luton didn't put a lot of money into it. Sheffield United never put a lot of money into it. Coventry have never really put a lot of money into it. You can throw money at it and it don't work. And we are the blueprint of that not happening. Barry Banner and Big Dom are the only two players that I, that like the manager. Declan, I've heard this said. I've heard this said time and time again. And uh, the person who said it, it said it come from a steward, right? The problem is, I take it with a pinch of salt. Like, I seriously take it with a pinch of salt. Because it's a steward. Um, we would, it felt like we were doing Moneyball this season, Robert. It actually felt like we were doing Moneyball with the likes of getting Gatherman in, getting uh, Masabar in. It did actually felt like we were going down a Moneyball system. But then it's not worked. Um, this this is the thing. It did feel like we were on a Moneyball system, but it, for whatever reason, it hasn't materialised and not worked. And I have no idea how, as a club, we get, us back on side to get everything sorted because right now I can't see us buying a win, let alone having a win. It's gonna be really, really difficult. Um, like it's gonna be really difficult to get a win. And um I want to be able to say at the end of this that I was, last time we had a manager bounce that I can remember when we had youth that got sacked and we brought Ron. That is showing your age a bit, but you're right, that is the time. Look, we're a mess. Let's back the boys as best we can. We can't do anything. We cannot do anything to uh, change what's going on with the club. At the end of the day, it's an absolute fucking mess. Uh, 
just seen the video of the knob defacing the banner from the It's It game with a pair of balance. As Nat says, we are all Wednesday, aren't we? We have to stick together. Let's not fight among ourselves either. Thank you for joining me tonight. I've done an hour and eight minutes. Um, I needed to rant. I don't rant that often on this channel because sometimes I feel like it's counterproductive. But at the moment, I need to rant. I am going to possibly do a call-in show this week. If I do a call-in show, we have to keep it civil. You can swear, but keep it civil. But I might do a call-in show this week. Um, but I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my evening. I'm going to forget about the result. I'm going to forget about Sheffield Wednesday for a little bit. Knowing my bloody luck, I'll be doing another video at 9 o'clock because Chan Series sacked him. Um, but we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Let's see what videos I've got to do next week and talk about. And football, fucking great, isn't it? When it's crap, not. Thanks for having a good one and I will see you in the next one. Uh, thank you for joining me. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.